ニコリスでもモーゼルって呼んでもいいの Hey everyone, this is Nitro. In this video, I am going to be doing Licorice's Gates of Fate. Now, because Licorice is one of, the one of the heroes I plan to use, she is already fairly leveled up, so her total power is 6058.、Uh, in terms of equipment, she has a full set of level 50 gear. And soldier wise, I'm probably going to be bringing the Sorceress soldiers on her, of course. Other than that, in terms of class mastery, thus far, my Licorice has her. Side branch, spirit, spirit, bright, spirit binder leveled up, as well as being fully leveled in her Princess of Darkness branch. So that's because I tend, I want to finalize her in the Faded Martyr class. But for now, so now I'm going for the other classes first, so that as soon as I get her into Faded Martyr, she is fully built.、So、last but not least, in terms of her bonding, she is not all that upgraded for bonds yet. Simply because I don't have the gold to finish her in that sense.、Um, I'm just gonna quickly bring her up in the bonding page to demonstrate that. So, oh, scrolling down to my licorice, wherever she is, here she is. So, in terms of her bonds, it's only 35% right now. She does have her own personal bond maxed out. Her. Soldier Bond, which only increases defense and magic defense, is only at level 2 for now. And her、uh, Soldier All Stats increasing bond is at level 9. So don't have the other two unlocked yet for obvious reasons, because I haven't done those Gates of Fate yet. So she needs to, you need to use Ares for Power of Darkness, and you need to use Licorice's Choice Battle with Bozo's help. Alright, so let's begin. The first three, though, should be pretty easy, I imagine. It's the last two that will be, or the last one that would be a problem. So, win within four turns, and Bozo's not defeated. Hmm. Dozens of summoning failures? <laughs> Farther and farther away from us. Reward and penalty system. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Snarky much guyer? Under your leadership, Velzelria's reputation has fallen drastically. Is there anything else worth punishment more than that? <laughs> I'm afraid if we four. If we are punished any further, we four demon generals will leave home and never return. Demons, and there are others from the army of darkness in this world? Dark Legion? Hmm. Okay, so, oh wow, you get to deploy two heroes for this fight too. So, within four rounds, Bozel is not defeated. 
that shouldn't be too hard especially with two aoe attackers right so if i just toss down lana that should be fine right here we go <laughs> why am i standing in the same camp as the brat down, have her launch in AoE, that gets rid of those guys in the south. And then if Lena charges north, tosses in AoE, she'll wipe out one of them. He'll come down probably. Lord Mosul, are you abandoning the four demon generals? <laughs> don't be ridiculous, I don't know how I became your enemy either. And the outcome of this battle. Nonsense. I'm the Dark Prince. What I say goes. Of course I've won. Now you better throw this battle for me. <laughs> As for the others, once the battle is over, catch that little brat, brat licorice and question her for me. <laughs> okay. Bozo. What do you mean, Ossel Bozo? I am THE Bozo, the world's most popular Dark Prince. I see. Then I'll tell you a secret. I'm actually Bozo too. You're Bozo too? Then show me your Bozo hood. Wait, don't take off your clothes. Hey, stop already. I was just kidding. Don't undress. <laughs> oh, jeez. But if I don't undress, you won't be able to see the mark of Bozal on my chest. But you can't just do something like that in front of a male demon. <laughs> alright, alright. I believe you. I believe that you're Bozal, okay? Now put your clothes back on already. Um, there, Kia. Take her to, into the palace to confirm the mark of Bozal. Wow. Round, Bozal is not defeated. First battle complete. On with the second battle. Or after the plot. So you really are Bozal. Licorice never lies. But demons are supposed to lie. Besides, Flirky confirmed it just now. If you still don't believe me, I can show you the mark of Bozal on my chest. And why is it on her chest? You must be the female Bozal of whom rumors were circulating on the continent, correct? I am retired, after all. I'm in need of a successor. Oh, I see. Then you, that means you're my master. Can Master Bozal teach me how to be a qualified Bozal? Um, do you even need to ask? I am, after all, one of the most famous Bozals in history. So you wish to become my sole successor, but that won't be easy. You need to pass all my tests. <laughs> well, first of all, given that you have only recently arrived in Velzel Velzeria, I think I ought to take you out to familiarize you with the environment. After all, this will be your new home. There are a lot of cute demons over there. What, demons? Were you even listening to me? The Chris can't wait to become friends with them. What kind of bozo is this? Then again, in that game, you know, the main character could wield both Alhazard and Fengrisser. So it's not too surprising. In any case, let's move on to the second battle. Well, since you're here, don't stay. Or don't leave. Stay and inherit the title of Dark Prince. So Licorice and Bozal need to escape, win within 6 turns, and defeat 5 enemies while escaping, I guess. Let's take a look. Mess 
proposal. Why were you in such a hurry, hurry to bring me here? Don't tell me that you've forgotten that you're a proposal and you said you wanted to learn how to be a competent villain. Let me test you to see what if you still remember what I told you. As Bozel, what's the most important skill to master? I think I should be funny. That's the, that's the most important skill to becoming a popular hero. I said as Bozel! Bozel! Ah, let me think. Yes, it's as Bozel. Your most important skill is the ability to summon and control demons, of course. I told you yesterday so many times. Ah, oh, forget it. I didn't expect you to remember much at once either. So today I'm going to give you a personal demonstration. Now I remember Master Bolt. So now I am going to summon an epic tier plant demon. Pay attention. <laughs> Green Legion, I summon you. Hmm? What's going on? Nothing happened. <laughs> I wasn't focused enough just now. Let me try again! Green Legion, I summon you! <laughs> Fail! Did I misremember the summoning spell? Impossible! I memorized it from the Book of Dark Magic multiple times last night! <laughs> Just last night. <laughs> Why don't we try summoning a different demon? No, that's not necessary! I will definitely summon it today! Again! demon who lurks in the land of darkness. Your master is calling your name. Green Legion, I summon you! <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> she just starts moving back. This is the green giant? Control? Are you kidding? This thing is unstoppable! Run! All right. This doesn't seem very unstoppable to me. Although, after taking action, deal 0 0.3 times AOE damage to all enemies within two blocks and reduces their mobility by one for one turn. Okay. Well, let's just continue to run this party and begin. I don't think Lana even needs a faction buff to kill these characters. <laughs> There's no other option. We just have to do our best. Uh, Licorice, you stand in front of me! <laughs> don't be ridiculous. Standing right before you is a great training opportunity. Defeating this green giant is my first test for you. Okay, so for this battle, the escape point is at the bottom left. So you just need to run away like that. Um, so initially, I'm just trying to see if I have any sanction like this. If I move down here and have any sanction. That doesn't really work. Alright, let's just move her down and have him sanction down these three. Right. And then I might as well have the Chris and the Rock Column to start. So, Wolf attacks, but considering the stat difference, it's just suicides. Oh, the other two came after me. What do you know? So what if I simply have her... If I have black hole here, I can't kill them both. So maybe I'll just run? Because it should kill itself into me. So, way it runs. Melee attack. On my Lena, close that one. So I can just toss out a blizzard, I guess. To slow this guy down. And keep running. Hmm? 
何をしてるのか分かっているのか。Finally, e n d i n 何をしてるのか何をしてるのか分かっている。Don't tell me all of them have to withdraw. Well, let's see. There we go. So, no, Licorice and Bozal have to both withdraw. Their last character doesn't. You wanted a pet demon. No, but standing before us is the most powerful demon, the Green Giant. If we can conquer it. Summon you, flower of confusion. Why are you willing to try anything I say? This will not do. You must remember, you are a vicious villain. And you are my only successor. Such things should be said to me only and nobody else. Understood? Now, coming or not? And if we take away the green giant, won't his family miss him? Compared to those beasts that do nothing but roar, this one is of a totally different class. What's with the sudden heroic talk? Appears. Oh man. <laughs> you green slime covered thing. <laughs> I want you to conquer it using force. Force! Understand? <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Looks like it's time to show you what a true cold blooded villain is. Come with me. Number three. The Chris catches all the children. <laughs> These victory conditions, man. And then you have to catch one child within two turns and win within five. Uh, now I think you understand how to become a true cold blooded villain, right, Licorice? I think so. As villains, we need to be crazy, cruel, and shameless, <laughs> and also have a trick up our sleeves to defeat the enemy. If the enemy is too strong, then we will need to rely on the art of begging for mercy and sneak attacks. Oh my god. That's right. Ha ha ha. Seems my training has not been wasted on you. But did you know how I trained myself to become Bozal in the first place? By challenging the descendants of light? Wrong. Didn't I tell you that challenging the descendants of light is the death wish? They're the protagonists after all. Then... By bullying the weak. <laughs> That's my secret trick. So your mission from here on is easy. Do you see that school in front of us? Very good. Your mission is to kill all the children in that school. Understand? Kill them? 
children? Yes, kill them all. I really can't think of anything weaker than little brats like that. So this time, you must complete the mission, or else I'll strip you of the qualification as heir to Bozal. Got it, Licorice? Alright, I'll do my best to complete the mission, Master Bozal. Teary eye, teary eye. Hello, boys and girls. <laughs> oh my god. Little buddy number one and buddy number two? It's that lady. Run! Huh? Wait, wait. They're gone. Children these days really have their wits around them. <laughs> Looks like killing all these children won't be so easy. I'll have to think of something else. Children, children, where are you? It's time for class. Maybe I can take this tutor's place for now. Then I'll use the opportunity to think of a way to complete Master Bozo's mission. Pardon me, miss, but have you seen my students? I mean those children? They went that way. Alright, thank you. <laughs> okay. Have any of you seen the tutor? over here hmm. okay so this battle you only get to use licorice and how do you actually catch the children you up <laughs> ready or not here comes licorice all right so if i move forward and toss out dark dragon's breath is that considered catching them So what if I teleport? There. Okay. There's that turn one catching. Reduces the mobility of one hero, enemy hero, to zero for one turn. Interesting. What if I do that for now? And using this skill, Demonic Advance, doesn't let me move, right? I don't think it does. Let's just see. If I use it, get to act again, but yeah, I can't move. pretty quick so if I run forward and I guess once again let's teleport the Chris forward okay so there's another one caught and this one gets two mobility buffs now uh oh so if I move one tile up I can also once again stop him from moving for a turn. And if I move forward, I can teleport the Chris forward. 
and move that one last tile to catch the last one. So there we go. One child within two turns, win within five rounds. There we go. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Liquor is that imbecile. I told her to go and kill all those children. What is she doing playing games with them? Ah! Hey, you crooked trespasser, stop! This guy is useless. Master Bozo, run! You're the one who started this nonsense, not me. Why should I run away with you? Hey! If you're not if you're going to run, then run. Why are you pulling my hand? Don't worry about that right now. You've got to run, Master Bozo. <laughs> A blushing Bozo? Oh my god. Licorice. Licorice is so cute when she's serious. Could it be she has some kind of special feelings for me? Wait, is she using this trick because she knows she hasn't completed her mission? Bozo, don't be fooled! Hey, Licorice, don't think you can fool your teacher with such a bit of evil magic. This doesn't mean that you've accomplished your mission. So, three battles so far. Next up is the Power of Darkness, where finally I will have to start using stoking heroes, right? So Power of Darkness needs Ares. And then the final one, Licorice's Choice needs Bozo. But so far so good. Three gates done. I'll do those last two tomorrow. And her five gates of fate will be done. All right, so it's the next day and it's time to finish up Licorice's remaining two gates of fate. So this first one will be the Power of Darkness. And once again, to do this battle, I am going to need to use Ares. So a few more upgrades were put into my Licorice. Um, you know, maxed out the glory, maxed the first and second bonds. The third one is at level five. I could upgrade this one a few more times. Not a big deal if I do. I have the gold to do so after all. So. And it is going to be done sooner or later. So I'll leave it at level 8 for now though. Because the upgrades are starting to get very expensive. Okay. So that's done. Let's start with Power of Darkness. Here, no one from your team was killed and win the battle from 8 turns. Here we go. <laughs> Those are the protagonists I mentioned before. <laughs> They're all redheaded. <laughs> well, three of them, anyways. Guy with the red scarf. Do not provoke them because we can't beat any of them. So, ally Bozo, Licorice, and obviously I will use Ares. 
So since I'm using Ares, presumably he wants to one-shot enemies, which means I'm going to change him from the Wind Whisper to bring Noble Charge. So he can single target strike these enemies. Other than that, let's begin. left to restore Belzel Belzeria's glory. He totally has other intentions. <laughs> Alright, so for this battle, all of these enemies initially have this effect. Damage taken is reduced by 200%, immune to fixed damage, and after initiating battle, they apply Bloodthirsty to the target, where at the end of your turn, you take damage equals to 10% of your remaining hit points. Last is one turn. So, quite annoying. Um, yeah. And there's not too much you can do about it. So, in any case, I'm just gonna move up. And what I'm going to do is have Ares run forward, activate Fearless Hurricane here, and then jump into the middle of them. And why don't I strike Leaden? And then that way, teleport all these characters to me. So, he's basically bait. And I'll just leave him here. Standing in the middle. So I guess I'll have Licorice charge up like this, huh? and Bozel can hang around as well. And so now Ares gets attacked, but as long as your Ares is built, he well, as long as your angels are built, really, he's unkillable. Because these guys have such low stats, they basically do nothing to. In areas of 557 defense. So that's going well. So I'm just gonna run Licorice over here. The reason is because I know the end point is all the way up here. So that's why I'm just huh? doing that for now. You know what? Ellen huh? is free to attack me, I feel. Huh? Or actually, no. He's, at, he's actually pretty weak. So I'll just move over. Ares is taking lots of fixed damage there just now, so from all these attacks that apply debuffs on him. But no problem there. So three more attacks on my Ares. They can't kill him, so it's fine. Bozel. If you encounter an enemy you can't defeat, run! Imagine that, Bozel protecting a little lolly that he was blushing over previously, right? Hmm. And the escape point is up there. So... Let's have Licorice keep running for now. Might as well have Bozel march up and toss out a DK. These characters, which will stun them for this turn. Because currently, with this turn, they now have a new effect where, after being attacked, stunned for one turn. So that's what really helps. Ares takes some more fixed damage. But it's not a big deal. Alright, so just gonna have Licorice continue to run. I'm gonna have Ares attack Elwyn here to stun him. And Bozo will continue to toss out AoEs. 
to stun this group. Icarus runs up some more. Ares can just move up. And Bozo can just move down. Oops. I'm in range actually. It's okay. As long as they don't kill him, that's alright. Licorice. Might as well have Ares attack and stun Sigma. And turn. Uh -oh. And Bozol is just gonna shift over one to survive. So you can only get attacked by one of these. Two. That, the Chris runs into the endpoint. They're still talking tough, even on the verge of death. Landius has gotten a lot more handsome recently. Why would Bozo notice something like that? Padded insoles to boost your height to 185 centimeters? of the Langrister series, I've never even heard of you. <laughs> they really are a pair of fools. Bozos used the skill taunt. It was super effective. There we are. Just one last battle to go. Licorice's choice. But first, let's just quickly unlock her defensive bond. Don't have the materials to upgrade it yet, but I will eventually. Actually, I'm, I also need to get a whole bunch of these seeds of zeal. Fortunately, I still have some gift packs from before, so I'll use those to get some of these seeds in preparation of doing this upgrade. So for example, two upgrades, we'll use 10 of them right there. Right, there's another two upgrades here, and I think there's another two in the heart bond. So a whole bunch of upgrades required. All right, 
So let's leave that for now. Well, I can do a few more. The gold cost is still pretty low. Let's stop there. Gold, gold, gold. Always the limitation. Alright, let's get the final battle over with. So this final battle gives a Warlock's Hood, for what it's worth. And you have to defeat all enemy units except for Ares and send no more than one hero into battle. What? So you're gonna have to do this one twice? Well, no, 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 no. If Licorice is not cons- we'll see. Because you have to use Bozal for one clear. Well, let's try going for the Bozal clear first. If I have to do another battle, it'll be done, I guess, tomorrow. Might be you have to do two, two clears for this. Let's take a look. Demons have imprisoned my little sister. Bozal, you bastard, give me back my little sister! The Legion of Glory. You've come to embarrass me in a different way. girl you see little sister all right yeah I I have a feeling we're only allowed to bring licorice to get that final feat but for now I will bring bozel double bozel go figure okay let's change up licorice's skills for now so I guess I'll faction buff demonic advent and dark dragon's breath so that Bozal can double AoE. Guess that's for the best. And here we go. It says defeat Ares, but I thought you were supposed to defeat all enemies except for Ares. That's weird. Well, let's see how this goes. No, destroy him! up your mind already. Hmm. Teary eyed again. Okay. So let's turn danger zone for now. Right? can't get right into range to launch any attacks yet, so I'll just move back a tile. Let's have the curse apply faction buff on these two. Uh -huh. and the other bozo is just gonna shift. Hmm. You're nothing but a lunatic. It might have been fast if I brought like cav like uh -huh. infantry uh lancer soldiers, sorry, on some of these characters. In any case though, it's a bit late for that. So I'll just make do. Uh -huh. Although preferably I would avoid Ares. Wow, what the heck does he have? Damage taking reduced buffs like crazy. Ah, he takes reduced damage for each unit on the battlefield too. Uh -huh. If I move myself here, I can actually get attacked. So now actually I should have placed myself here with disposal. Huh? No, let's wait a turn. Should be fine. It's not like I'm in a rush. So I just want to get rid of all these without triggering areas. That's the goal. So if I place disposal huh? here. And launch out an earthquake, that would crush these two. Uh, 
I should be safe from everyone but discovery. Yep, perfect. So I'll place Licorice here and strike this infantry. And also this And the main bow will just move up to now. Yeah, Lancer soldiers might have been better. I guess I'm going to have to use Black Dragon's Breath here. Oh, not quite enough damage to kill. What do you know? That's okay. I know this boat can definitely kill. I'm just gonna wait with the... Sub, uh, the free boat. More enemies left to get rid of. Guess I'll move here to heal up a little. Huh? And move over here. Huh? And move this proposal. And now. Action button. Disposal, who I guess activated the clock earlier, taught him more earthquake. Leaving just one. Archer left. Is there a turn limit? There is. I don't think I'll have any problems killing, so I'm just gonna move in. Might as well just activate the demonic advent skills as well. Huh. Side she comes, trading range attacks, kills itself, leaving just the main areas. So what do we supposed to do here? Right? Defeat all enemy units except for Ares. That's already done. Guess I'll place Licorice in range. Let's just do that Put him to sleep. Guess I'll range attack him. Let's see. Okay, more enemies appear. Hmm. Taking advantage of my lack of friends. <laughs> I'm going to summon the Demon Legion right now. This is the Spirit's Dark Prince. Destroy him, Bozo. Destroy him. Here is his my big brother. What did you say? I mean, this guy really is your brother? What? Why didn't you say so? Neither of you gave me a chance. And that guy's voice is echoing my head constantly. They didn't even give me a chance to speak with my brother. Hmm. Come back with me. Come and live with your big brother starting from today. Choice. Oh! The Chris wants to be with Bozo! Yes, the Chris. If Bozo is going to, need to stay here, just say so. We'll help you. Oi, oi. Just what kind of person do you think I am? A villain? <laughs> Where did Ledin come from? <laughs> That's the other question. They probably it probably should have been an image of Maya, but they accidentally put in Ledin. Bozel hasn't been bullying you, has he? You can tell me. Has he been forcing you to stay here? 
Otherwise, why haven't you come to see me all this time that you've been here? Oh. Hear that? Hear that? I've been treating your little sister very well. Don't be so quick to make slanderous accusations. Yet you, on the other hand, barging into Valzeria and destroying everything you see countless times. It's precisely because you're this way that your sister doesn't want to go home with you. You. I see you're looking to pick a fight, Bozel. Bring it on, I'm the Dark Prince. Think I'm afraid of some newcomer like you? Go ahead and call the Legion of Glory again for a fight. If you insist, I'll go call them right now. The little lolly is angry. Hmm. Settle our scores later. Hmm. How I ought to act like a normal human to live together with you? Need to work hard to become a qualified and excellent villain? Brother will support my decision, right? And Ares accepts her becoming a villain? What the heck is going on here? Learning is something that depends on your own insight. It's not something I can do for you. Understand? Hmm. Outstanding villain so I can challenge you. Huh? <laughs> Total split personality, but whatever. So, defeat all enemy units except for Ares. Yeah. So, no matter what, you have to do this battle twice. One time to unlock the bond, and then one time to get that last feat. So, I'm not gonna do that separate. I'm not gonna do that last feat. Uh, I don't think there's any point in doing it in a video because this battle is ultimately quite easy. Yeah. So let's just unlock that. Upgrade this twice, I guess. Using up all of my seed items. Oh, uh, and I need more seeds. Not good. For example, if I do that, that was my last one, wasn't it? It was. So I won't have any seeds to upgrade her heart her heart bond for now, but I do slowly collect them from doing the Eternal Temple map. And also I believe Forbidden Battleground would give me some of those seed items. Let's double check. Let's see. So Forbidden Store. Oh there isn't! Oh no! Okay, well, it means I have to buy gift packs from the guild store to upgrade that. So, for example, right, the bond seeds are pretty cheap, so I have to start purchasing these a bunch. Because I think I'm gonna need a lot of them. So let's just do those purchases so far, for example. And take a look at my licorice quickly. upgrade this heart point. Yeah, so I need one more purchase. 
from the guild store. Like so. Second upgrade, and then, then it starts using the other materials. So we're good. Okay, but gold limitations is going to prevent me from doing any further upgrades for now, but she is well on her way to being fully upgraded. Oh, I'm actually, I'm actually going to have to get more flowers of summer as well. But it should be okay. I have more of those gift packs for these flowers of summers too. So yeah, if I just use two of them, that should be enough. And it's just a gold cap thing. So since the time I first cleared it, it's actually been several days uh, and I put a bit more money into upgrading my licorice so she's already nearly maxed out at this point. Um, just missing one level on her soldier bond which only increases defense and magic defense and missing one level on her own personal toughness bond but everything else is maxed out so heart bond is maxed you know strength bond is maxed same with her other two bonds. I don't think you actually need to max her in to this extent, because ultimately the enemies you face aren't super duper high level, right? They're level 45. But I've been building her up in preparation for Apex Arena, so it just happened this way. So this time around, I'm grabbing this last beat, send no more than one hero into the battlefield. So let's begin. So I'm going to skip the chatter this time around since I already went through the storyline and you only just deploy Licorice, and that's pretty much it. So... You know, my Licorice is only in her Demon class, so she only has access to Dark Dragon's Breath at this time. And yeah, we'll see how this plays out. Um, might as well bring my Faction buff. I actually don't think I need Demonic Advents, but it doesn't matter. Let's have it. So let's begin. So all I have to do though is defeat Ares at this point. So let's start by turning on Danger Zone and I'm just going to move up initially and Faction Buff. Ozo can also just move up and start. And the goal is to stay out of Ares' range initially. Now, huh? just gonna toss out. I do want to trigger this guy to attack me actually. So, why don't I move? If I move here and toss this out, I can only hit one target. So that might not be worth it. So, why don't I just toss out this AoE at these two? And I'll just have both of them. In they come. Works for me. Huh? And I'm going to start with a fireball on this infantry channel. Oh wow, disposal sucks. So Licorice is going to move up, activate Demonic Advance to start refreshing her skills and Fashion Buff. Bozo has to hang back, he has no soldiers, so he'll just hold back like this. Alright, so I'm going to have Licorice and I can't afford to trigger Ares, so I'm going to have to move uh -huh. back. Going pretty smoothly overall. So now, uh -huh. Bozo tosses a range attack, 
and Liquid will finish in a mid strike. Fortunately, I just need to win. I don't. There's no real turn limit for me at this point, right? I just need to slowly clear the map. Huh? That's what I'm gonna do. So let's double check. Let's launch. Dragon's breath. Clock finally activated. So now Ares lost pretty much all those buffs of damage reduction. And he should be pretty much manageable at this point. Chris, start. And now, let's try having the Chris. Watch on AoE. Lickers gets some melee attack, lives, and then that spawns Maya, which is the end of this fight. So there we go. I mean, what I really should have done was just bring, I guess, melee soldiers on Licorice, which I didn't do. That would have definitely made this easier, in hindsight. But, you know what? The sorcerers just somehow worked. And there we go. That gets me that feat. I got those two extra Trinity vouchers. And at this point, I can just keep sweeping these battles instead of having to manually fight them. But for sure, for that last battle, if I had decided to bring other soldiers on Licorice, I wouldn't have had so much of a tough time, right? So, for example, maybe like, I don't know. Does she even have melee soldiers? She doesn't seem to. Oh, title elves, I guess. But yeah, these three are all actually ranged soldiers. So is the Leviathan. Vampire, I guess Vampire Bats and Tidal Elves are her two melee soldiers. Interesting. In any case though, battle's complete, works out, so... I am done with all the Liquor Skater Fates. Thanks for watching everyone, I hope you found this video useful to you. Nitro out.